Okay. Cool. Are you really? Cool. Hi, I'm Joshua. I'm from Singapore's Kiss 92. It's been two years. Nice to since, see you, man. Yeah, since the first one, right? Yeah. Um, a friend of mine um, handmade you a, a Deadpool figurine. No way. Yeah, for you. Wow. Using other parts from different characters. That's really amazing. Pieced together. Do I have like Iron Man's chest thing? You might have a you bit of there somewhere. That's really mystique actually. in there too. That's incredible. A little bit of mystique in there? Yeah. Wow. We all want a little bit of mystique in our in our action figure, don't we? Yeah, the back area. I love it. I love it. Thank you very, very much. I'm gonna keep it right here. All right, so I'm far away from home. I'm from Singapore. Yeah. When people think of Singapore, they think of the country that bans the selling of chewing gum. Uh-huh. But the truth is we have crazier laws than that. Okay. So today we're gonna break some Singapore laws together. Okay, great. Yeah. Number one, in Singapore it is illegal to play a musical instrument badly in public. Is that true? Yes. Is that really true? Not implemented on some buskers, obviously. Well, well hold on, that's feels subjective. Yeah, Who decides right. that what's good or bad? Right. But if you break the law, you'll be fined up to a thousand dollars. So, okay. ta-da! Oh wow, this is yes. gonna get me to play this. Yeah. No, I don't gonna, know how to play this at all. Do. You've never played the recorder? Nope. Everyone has to learn this. It's really? like a little flute thing. I, I know, I, I see that. Just give me a key. Ooh, it's a rough sound. It just costs us a grand. I'm gonna practice it and master it. It is against the law to sing songs with naughty words in public. Really? Yes. Wow. Do this and you can be punished for three months imprisonment or a fine. Wow. Yeah. You know this one? Oh yeah. Of course. Yeah? Are you into Cardi B? I like Cardi B. Yeah, Cardi B's come up a couple times today. This is her hit song on Walking Say on little. Sunshine, right? You can't with me if you want to. You're going to jail, my friend. As soon go. as you get home, you'll be arrested at the airport. In Singapore, it is illegal to hug anyone without their permission. I like that. Yeah. I dig that. Yeah. Can I hug you? Sure. Oh. We didn't really break the law. Uh, no, you asked. Yeah, see, you that's just, how you're supposed to do it. Had you just lunged for me, then yes, of course, that would have been a problem. Okay. Uh, finally, it is illegal to walk around naked in your own house. Come on. No, for real. What are you talking about? You have to close the, the windows and the blinds. And yeah, the that's, doors. well. Really? Yeah, for real. What's going on? Yeah. Singapore, really? You can be thrown to jail for that. Wow. On top of a fine. Boy, howdy. Yeah. So if you were like singing music badly in your house nude while chewing gum and singing, uh, I don't know. Chewing gum's okay, but you can't sell it. You can't sell it. Yeah. Wow. That's the thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow, okay, okay, now proper question. Yeah, yeah, great. Okay. The world has known Ryan Reynolds for decades and also Deadpool for decades, yeah. but now we can't think of one without the other. Mm -hmm. Has Deadpool rubbed off on you? Are there certain character traits or habits or catchphrases that you use? I don't, yeah, I mean, I've always kind of liked the catchphrase maximum effort. Yeah. That's a fun one. Um, Deadpool's always been a big part of me and I've always been a big part of Deadpool, I think. You know, I've been a, been obsessed with it since 2004, yeah. you know, so yeah. I uh, I love Deadpool's like the most I'm the greatest like privilege of my professional career to play Deadpool. I love Deadpool. Is there anything that you've given you feel like the character for the rest of time? For the rest of time? Oh, I don't know. Um, I, what I love about this character is that he's a guy that isn't trying to save the world. Mm -hmm. He's a guy that's trying to be just a little bit better than he was yesterday. And I think that like that's a nice message to send to the world. You know, even though Deadpool's kind of like outrageous and out of control and a little bit nutty. He still, at his core, still has a good heart. You know, I like yeah. that. So our good friend Logan went off to do musicals. Yes, he are, did. Are we gonna get a Deadpool music? We had a Spider-Man musical. Which yeah, that's true. Yeah, would you do a Deadpool on Broadway? Tell me, do you wanna go? Why, no, I can't sing though. I'm a terrible singer. Lip sync it. Uh, I, I suppose you could. People would get upset about that. So I don't know. I don't think I don't think we'll have a Deadpool musical. Deadpool on Broadway would be funny. Right? Finally, can you tell everyone in Singapore to go see Deadpool 2? Singapore, you guys are gonna love Deadpool 2. It is literally the best one yet. It is uh, something I think is gonna be totally refreshing, especially for the summer, where all, all these blockbusters coming out. Deadpool kind of goes the other way. So I'm pumped. I hope you're pumped. Deadpool's pumped. Thank you. Thank you. Just like that. Let's hug. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. It was nice to see you again.